bila shaka Waziri wa elimu Profesa George Magoha ametoa hakikisho kwamba masomo yataendelea bila tatizo lolote licha ya pilka pilka za siasa. Akizungumza katika kaunti za Nyeri na Kirinyaga kwenye shughuli ya kukangua ujenzi wa madarasa ya CBC, Magoha aidha alisema kwamba uchapishaji wa vitabu vya grade ya sita unaelekea kumalizika na kwamba kufikia mwezi Aprili walimu wa grade za saba na nane watakuwa tayari. Shadrack Miti anaarifu. Wizara ya elimu imekuwa mbioni kufanya maandalizi ya ujio wa junior secondary kipao mbele kikipewa ujenzi wa madarasa mapya. Na Jumatano waziri wa elimu Profesa George Magoa alizuru kaunti za Nyeri na Kirinyaga kukagua hatua zilizopigwa. Aidha Magoa alidokeza kwamba walimu wa grade ya sita na wa junior secondary kwa jumla wapo tayari. In terms of developing teachers going forward. All our TPCs have a capacity of 25,000 at this time. That will transmit to about 8,000 a year. But this year we have already admitted over 2,000 first years learning purely CBC curriculum. Kuhusu mtiani na tafmini ya wanafunzu wa grade ya sita, waziri uyowe ilimu, hamesema hatu muhimu zimepigwa na kumba kufike mweze aprili walimu wa junior secondary watakuwa mepoke mafunzo tayari kuchapa kazi. When we specifically now refer to grade six, who will come to class uh, in the, on the 1st of May and do their exams in December. Their teachers were trained in December of last year. Hayo ya Kijiri hapa Nairobi, chama cha shule za binafsi za nyigarama na fu, almarufu abet, zinazoendesha shughuli katika mitaya mabanda kama vile mkuru kwa njenga. Kinaitaka sirikali kuzipiga jeki ili kuziwezesha kuendelea kutoa huduma za elimu kwa watoto na familia maskini katika mitaa ya mabanda hasa kwenye majira haya ya kutekeleza mtaala wa CBC. Serikali iangalie mambo ya kusapoti si chule kwa kutumia fedha. Wakati wa COVID chule nyingi silifungwa na watoto wengi ambao walikuwa wa ingia kwa chule sasa wako mitaani, hawasomi. Na kama hawatakuwa wakirudi kwa mashule basi tutakuwa na form of insecurity ambao haijawahionekana katika nchi. We have a claim that CBC is very expensive but it is because of lack of synergy. If we put our efforts together everything will work out well and no child, Kenyan child will be left behind. Wakizungumza katika mtaa mkuru kwa njenga kwenye shughuli ya kutoa msaada wa vitabu na vifaa vya masomo kwa shule za Abet zilizoathirika mwaka jana baada ya kubomolewa wakuu wa chama hicho walisema baadhi ya shule hazina shamba au zimekuwa kwenye ardhi zinazodaiwa kunyakuliwa na wadau wanaonya kwamba bila shule hizo maelfu ya wanafunzi katika mitaa ya mabanda huenda wakakosa fursa ya kusoma kwanza tugerio serikali yetu kwa sababu hizi shule za support au sina, sina watoto wengi sana hizi shule sipewe registration bila conditions yeyote kwa sababu kama hizi shule zimefunza watoto kwa saidi ya miaka 30 je inawezekanaje isemekane ya kwamba sasa diso hizo shule abaso sitafungo kwa sababu hasiwezi sikawa na shamba msaada wa vitabu na vifaa vya vya masomo ulitoka kwa shirika la uchapishaji vitabu la Moran Publishers na viligarimu zaidi ya shilingi milioni mbili this is just the beginning of greater things for our schools uh, in Mukuru kwa Jenga in Embakasi and across the country we extend our invitation to other well-wishers out there. Uh, these instructional materials, the scholastic materials, and uh, the learning materials will also go a long way in even promoting the CPC curriculum. Shadrach Miti, KT News. Na mtazamaji, tukendelea na tarifa zetu wa miliki wa taasisi mbalimbali.